What's up, YouTube? So, we are getting in the official Season 12 Hecarim Guide video in today. Um, so a lot of people have been asking about it, uh, like what is Hecarim going to be looking like for Season 12, is he strong, what's the ideal setup, phase rush or conquer, so today we're going to be going over everything, going over the runes he needs to go, items, pathing, everything, right? So first things first, my choice, you choose your smite choice depending on the enemy jungler, if it's a jungler who doesn't run away and hard commits for fight, you want to go red smite, but if it's someone who kites like graves, you want to go blue smite. Um, now as for pathing, what you always want to do is, I personally saw my top side pretty much every single game, right? And the reason why I saw my top side is because I feel like when you start top side, you can path towards bot, right? And then on your second full clear, it can allow you to get an early first dragon, right? So when you're doing your first clear, if you're starting on blue, you always want to smite the ground right away so you can get a bunch of Qs in for AoE damage so you can uh, get a faster clear. And then it's just standard full clear, level 1 through 4. So as for rune choice, uh, what you want to be doing is you want to go face rush with Nimbus Cloak, Celerity, and Water Walking, and secondary go Ingenious Hunter with Eyeball Collection. And the reason you want to go Ingenious Hunter is because the build I've been spamming recently, and the build that I personally think is one of the most broken builds of all time for Hecarim, is Chem Tank with a uh, tier, and you build that into Man Moon, right? With this build, you're super tanky, you do a lot of damage, and what the Ingenious Hunter allows you to do is it reduces your tier of the Goddess cooldown, so that for a second item, you can actually get your, uh, you can get your Man Moon fully stacked, so you don't have to, like, wait around for power spikes. So we're just gonna be finishing on full clear, we kept our Q stacks from most uh, Raptors, perfect, like that. Um, and now we're just gonna be looking for that. So it looks like enemy bots pushing. So we could definitely look for gank. So after you finish your first clear, what you want to do is you either want to look for a gank or you want to look for a scuttle. If the enemy is pushed, you go for the gank. But if they're not, then you just go for the scuttle. Because the problem is if you go for a scuttle and the enemy state is like this, then if I go and Diego or Diana's there, and then uh, her ball in rotates, I lose, right? So if I just bring the fight to the ball in first, I have my ball in to support me. I don't have to worry about being outnumbered. So we're going to drag out these two little Krugs here. Just so I can keep Q stacks and then we'll pop ghosts and come in here. Nice, we managed to dodge the Q as well. Perfect. I'm just backing off a bit because I want to wait out my E cooldown. Oh, I didn't dodge. I need to dodge her uh, Q there, but it's okay. I still get a lot of kills, which means I get the most powerful first back for Hack Room. Um, so on your first reset, you always want to get Ionian Boots of Lucidity and Tear of the Goddess if you can. The reason why is because you start uh, stacking your tier right away, so you can actually get your Man Moon for a second item. And the other good thing too, is that getting Ionian Boots of Lucidity is actually like an aggressive boot option for Hecarim. And the reason why is because when you have your Ionian, you have like more CDR, and more CDR means you get more Qs off in your clear. So because you're getting more Qs off, it's faster clear speed, right? Since Hecarim Q is his primary way of light like, clearing. Okay, so we know she's our top side and full clear towards bot, but I think I kinda wanna look for a top gank here. I could just go for refill clear, but with how with the fact that Diego's kinda pushed up, I wanna look for something. Mm. He's playing back though, so I don't think I'll be able to. Diana might gank him though, so I'll just ping this. Cause her play would be to like reset and then go for Krugs, right? So if she's top side then she could easily gank Chaser. Alright, so we just like to refill clear then. So I'll just see my wolves, and then we can probably look for raptors after into Krugs. I don't need to look for any kind of aggressive gang, because I don't think I'd be able to get it off anyways. So you always want to use your E to travel in between camps to make your clear speed a little bit faster as well. We're going to grab the raptor, drag him out here, finish him with the Q. That way when we start our Krugs, we can have our two Q stacks. There we go, just like that. And then we could also look for the um then we could also look for the dragon pretty soon and it should be good. Alright, and we bowling's pushing up. Mm. There's no way I could gank that though. Alright, not bad. So we're just gonna wait right here. Luck should walk here to work. I just WQ auto for phase rush move speed. There we go. Now we escape. Alright, I mean, I said in die, right? So that's all that really matters. 
I'll just reset though. If the Anna's bot side, then there's some point in me like second round. Or maybe look for a play top side or something. But yeah, now we're gonna want to start building our chem tank. So the reason why chem tank is such a good choice is because it gives you a lot of burst damage with the way the uh, like uh, supercharged passive works, and then um, you also get like a lot of ability haste and health from the mythic passive too, which makes you like tanker as well as make you do more damage. Okay, so we're just waiting for our blue to spawn. Mm, the thing is, if I try to fight Diana, she has conquer and she's two and zero, so she'd one hundred percent win. So I don't really want to look for any aggressive plays right now. But if I could gank mid, I feel like... Actually, you know what? Wait, what was wrong with my thing there? Fun. I'm just trying to sell. I know Katarina's around here. But I'm just trying to sell because I know Jace and Counter are on the way. We can win this. Ah. Well... The unfortunate thing is that they all flashed. But the good news is they all flashed. So, that means I have no flashes for the next little while. Which is going to be okay. Yeah, I'll just sell my uh, potion out to get bombies. Which should be good. Alright, let me just refill clear top to bot now. If I refill clear top towards bot? Wait, what? No, I don't win 1v1. He has Vam Scepter Cloak. We should be chilling. Even though we're far behind, it doesn't really matter. As long as I preserve mental fortitude, that's all we need to win. Mental fortitude wins games. Remember that. I might just go red into um, Krugs, honestly. I'm just going to finish this with Q with my E active so I could be over this wall. Just for a little faster clear speed. Alright. And then after we could look to force. Because I have no flashes now, I could easily get a winning fight here. Got all stuff. Nice. Wait, Karina has no flash. Let's gank mid then. Mm. No, she's fine back. Hold on. Okay, we got the red swing. Alright, even though I die, we should be able to get a double kill here, right? Uh, one kill is okay. It's not bad. Trading my death for a shutdown is decent. But I think Katarina might just kill everyone here. Oh, there you go. Alright, we have a fed Lulu. So that's a good thing about this game. It's like, even though everyone's losing lane, everyone's getting kind of shit on. As long as you have the fed Lulu, Bombzilla, you're chilling. Got Bombzilla this game. How can we lose? I feel like Viego is going to walk up and try to insta-kill Jace. That's what I would assume, right? So if I just wait for him to like walk up here, then I could get a free kill. I just have this like sneaking suspicion he's gonna all in him. It's like walk up, bro. Walk up. There we go. So now we're good. Perfect. So we use our WQ smite to proc phase rush, saving our E auto so we could use our E auto to knock him back towards our teammate. Right? I think. Yeah, he's dead no matter what, so I'll just save him. Kinda sucks. I'm not the one who got the shutdown there, but it's okay. Alright, let me just, uh, top wave is crashing, so I could actually catch that wave. But give me a bit of the XP lead that I need. Do I win this? I don't think I do, actually. Wait, actually, hold on. Nah, Viego's gonna be here in like two seconds. Yeah, if I go for that, Viego just kills me. If I go Wolves into potential bot gang, I just need like one or two kills. One or two kills, we go. I need Lulu walk up. Lux, are you waiting in this bush? No? I'm not gonna walk up, I'll just like count and take a kill. There we go. 
Not bad, not bad. Hey, let me just do Krugs and two Raptors. As long as I do that, we're okay. Yeah, I cannot kill the Anakin. Hey, I got the smite off? Well, I mean, that's Lux Ignite Flash, so we're chilling. Kian just got two shutdowns as well, so she's actually fed right now. But I put out for we should be okay. And the good news is, too, that I got my uh, chem tank now, so I'm actually strong. So now all I need to do is take my blue ground for good. I'm getting counter jungled by the enemy top lane in this game. Happens. Oh, well, at least he pays the price. Oh, I actually got rooted. Okay. Well, we got the Caitlyn. I don't think we got the Diana though. Are they gonna invade me on my Gromp here? Of course. YouTube, you need to listen to me right now. It's like at this point, I'm gonna be honest, in my mind, in my brain, I'm saying end the fucking video. I'm wishing cancer upon many people right now in game in my mind. But then I had this, like, realization, this, like, moment of realization. What if I show you guys how to 1v9 from behind? Even when you get behind on Hecarim in my guide. Like, what if it, I don't do a 20 kill game? I show you guys how to, like, win from behind. So let me show you how it's done. And it's all through the power of mental fortitude. Watch and learn. You know what I mean? It's like, watch and learn. Watch and learn how mental fortitude can 1v9 games. Look at him. There we go. So it's like now you might be thinking to yourselves, you're two and six. You're an inter. And I have only one response to you. No. And now you might be thinking to yourself, prove it then. But there's nothing to prove. All I need to say is no. And the thing is, my version of reality becomes reality, right? Like in game. So that's the thing about it. It's like, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. Listen, listen, listen. The thing about it is this, right? It's like, dude, at the end of the day, even if I go 2 and 6 this game, I still have high win rate and like 700 LP challenge every game, right? Like, relax. It's one bad game, shit happens. You know what I mean? Like, in-game, shit fucking happens. Relax. It's low-key booming. Trust. It's like, I'll show you guys how it's done. Oh, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't looking at my screen, and I just died in one second. <laughs> but you know what, it's like it happens. It's like, that's the thing. In life, shit happens in-game as well. And the thing is, <laughs> it's like, it's like shit happens, you know what I mean? Like, we're low-key chilling with it right now. But yeah, low key, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, YouTube. I'm too lazy to do a retake of the guide video, so it's like this is getting uploaded. You know what I mean? It's like I'm Gordon Ramsay, and I t and it's like I need to make a chocolate cake, but instead of cocoa powder, someone just shits. And it's like, bro, the cake is due in 10 minutes. Like, I CBA. It's like, listen to me. At the end of the day, all the information I gave you is correct. It's just that unlucky things happen mechanically. Keep that in mind. So it's like, regardless of whether it, like I I went. 20 and 0 or 2 and 7 this game it's like shit fucking happens bro i'm a human being in game i mean in real life as well not just in game but that's just what it is but watch and learn okay i mean that's fine honestly wait hold on that's why they call me the movement demon Whee! it's like you will not escape me hold on hold on 
What if I did a little madness on them? Okay, it's like I didn't do a little madness on them. But like, it's kind of vibing. Because the thing is, it's like, even though I'm like dying a lot, I look cool while I'm dying. You know what I mean? It's like I'm getting shot in the head in game, but I'm wearing sunglasses. It's like, hey, you can't fault a man for his style. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. That's all it is, YouTube. Can't fault a man for his sense of style. You know what I mean? Alright, what can we do here? Um, It's like, what's the angle right now? It's like, what is the angle right now? You know what it's like, hear me out. It's like, imagine I'm with my family of five members and we just survived the zombie apocalypse and it's like everyone's eaten alive, dead, and I'm there with like a rusty kitchen knife versus an army of a billion zombies in-game. That's how this game feels to me mentally. And it's like, where do I even go from here? Where do, what do I even do from here? Do I just sit down and let myself die? Or do I say, fuck it, and like mentally turn my rusty knife into an AK in-game and start going crazy on those zombies? You know what I mean? Like, low-key. But that's why if I just full clear my top side, I can get my manion spike. And once I get the manion spike, my god! My god! So that's why what we need to do, chat. And YouTube. Oh, wait, what the fuck? It's like, why? Okay, but she dies for that. Worth. It's like that's worth. I found her gods in the shutdowns this game, though I could have probably carried, but it's fine. Here you go. It's like, I'll give you an NCS little banger, YouTube. A little juicer in your ears. A little bit of cartoon why we lose. You know what I mean? It's like, we're there right now. What are the chances the one game I decide to make a YouTube video, this happens, though? You know what I mean? It's like, why? It's like, why do I go 20 kills every other game, and then this game, the things that occur, occur. But I think we're chill enough. Like, the game is already won, because I got my 2M power spike. No cope. Like, I'm not coping. Oh! <gasps> It's like I told you, YouTube! It's like I told you! You know what I mean? It's like imagine I'm three feet tall and I tell you I got a fucking 20 inch cock. And then you don't believe me so I whip it out in game. It's like I told you. But you didn't believe me. But now it's like you do believe me. A little NCS juicer? Hey, my god. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Alright, we might need to do a little madness on the Diana here. Dodging all the abilities! I don't have ult. Winnable. It's like it's fucking winnable on the down low. You know what I mean? It's like it's winnable. I swear... I'm the only YouTuber on the platform who would legit go 4 and 10 and upload the game. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like every other content creator when they, they like take Viagra to get boners. You know what I mean? But like me, it's like I still show my cock in game even when it was cold outside and it's like one inch. Hold on, I might go crazy on him here. Fuck. It's like we lost. It's like we lost. But YouTube, I swear to God, even though I went, I didn't go crazy this game, I dropped 20 kills every other game in Challenger. So that's how you play Hacker in Season 12. The best. All right, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, be sure to like, sub if you haven't already. And I will see you all for the Rank 1 grind starting tomorrow. Peace.